Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download Windows 7 games that you might be familiar with like Minesweeper, Solitaire, and so forth that might have been present in earlier versions of Windows but it's been unfortunately removed by Microsoft in Windows 8 and Windows 10. So especially to those who have upgraded from Windows 7 recently, they might really be feeling the dissatisfaction about losing some of their favorite built-in computer games. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to restore them, or at least restore them to pretty close to what they were in Windows 7 and earlier versions of Windows. So we're going to start by navigating over to a website that I will have in the description of this video. It actually is winarrow.com. That's the publisher and supporter of this tool. So it's very nice that they actually do support this. So there should be something, step number one, that says get the zip archive of games from the following link. You want to download it from this link here. There's close to 1 million downloads on this file already. So you want to left click on this download Windows 7 games for Windows 10 right here. It should say what do you want to do with this file. It looks like it's a compressed zip file. About 146 megabytes, so pretty big. So I'm going to just save it. And depending on your internet speed and internet connection, it might take a little bit of time. In my case, it looks like it's moving along pretty good here. Okay, so once it's finished downloading, you want to open the folder. There should be something that says Win 7 Games for Win 10. You want to open that up. And then there should be something in here that says Windows 7 Games for Windows 10 and 8. It should have an application. So you want to double click to open it up. It says the application may depend on other compressed files in the folder. For the application to run properly, it is recommended that you first extract all files. You don't have to do that in this case. We're just going to run it just by clicking on run there and just give it a moment this will take a couple seconds to load the installer and then if you get a user account control window that says do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device left click on yes you want to select your language most people should be English if you're on this video so we're going to go on and click on OK And just be patient, it will take a couple seconds to load the installer. So once it's up, it says this wizard will guide you through the installation of Windows 7 games for Windows 10 and 8. It is recommended that you close all other applications before starting setup. This will make it possible to update relevant system files without having you to reboot your computer. So click on Next to continue. And now you can select different games you want to install. You don't have to select all of them if you don't want to. So after you've made your selections, you want to left click on install. And this will take a moment, so just be patient. So now if you want to uncheck discover Win WinRoo tweaker to tune up Windows 10, 8.1, and 8, you can deselect that. It's an optional application and doesn't relate to this tutorial, so I'm going to uncheck it. And then I'm going to click on finish. So now if we head over to the start menu and we try to type in like solitaire for example desktop app should come up for that if you typed in minesweeper again desktop app you saw the difficulty like you would on other versions of windows as well and then there's other utilities as well like chess and so forth so it's pretty much the same thing you would have on other versions of Windows but it's nice that you actually can play them on Windows 8 and Windows 10 
So I do hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.